This is a great, uh, this is a great little get together. You could have this thing uh, every week in this city and you'd probably fill this room up. When you go and look at a home, or if you're selling or you're buying, you look at the plumbing, you look at the electrical, you want to make sure the roof does not leak. But until sort of recently in history, we kind of didn't think that much about energy efficiency. And I'm here to say this and remember it. If you don't remember anything else, you need to ask and you need to know, how much insulation does this home have? How secure or is the duct system? In other words, how much does the duct system leak? Because you know in the industry, ducts leak. All ducts leak. The standard is 10%. Do you have solar screens? Do you have weather stripping around your doors? You know, I think it's okay to say, you know, what is, what is sort of the average electric bill that you see in the summertime? Because it says a lot. Energy efficiency is e extremely important because it's a difference between a couple of vacations, if it's done right. You're looking at $1,200 to $2,000 a year on an average home, and that's, that's enough money to think about. So what you have in this town, fortunately, I think, is one of the most mature and best energy efficiency programs in this country. In Austin, we spend $25 million a year helping customers make energy efficiency improvements, and per capita and for our size, we're in the top 5% in this country in terms of what we provide, that, that those rebates or 0% loans that we provide to customers. It's important because Summer in Austin and air conditioning drives electric bills and across the deep south. And when we get a call from a customer in June and they say, I could not have possibly used this much electricity, the answer is yes, I'm sorry that you did. Even though your bill was half as large in the spring or in the fall, in the summer, electric bills will be, and this is just electricity, twice as big almost all the time but very frequently three times or four times larger than they are in the spring or they are in the fall. That's why energy efficiency is important. And you know in Austin, the average residential customer, you look at all of the electricity they use all year, do you realize that we are using almost half of that electricity during just the four summer months? It says June through August and it should say June through September. That's something to think about. Our rebates are designed to give you a payback of five to seven years. And today in Austin, because of several factors, one of which is a partnership with Texas Gas Service, the other is the federal tax credits uh, that have been mentioned, there has been no time in history when you could make energy efficiency improvements in this town and receive more money as to help you pay for it than today. And I want to emphasize Texas Gas Service and Austin Energy's partnership. Uh, we administer basically uh, their rebates when someone makes energy efficiency improvements to the home because we have, in the last five years, 25,000 citizens who made energy efficiency improvements uh, using rebates or low-interest loans. Our rebates on insulation, duct repair, and these are the major energy efficiency improvements that generally need to be made. Additional attic insulation, duct repair, solar screens on windows hit by direct sunlight because when the sun's shining in, it's warming up the house. Some weatherization measures around the home that make a difference. When you use our rebates and theirs, and you get them both, they pay almost half. They pay almost half of those costs. And there's a federal tax credit now, and there's a change that makes a difference, and that is this. It's been in place for a number of years, and it paid 30% of certain energy efficiency costs minus any rebates you received. One of the changes that went into play is that it now pays 30% of the cost. So you get the rebates, and then you get another 30% off. Depending on the energy efficiency improvement, it may be on everything, the cost of the equipment and the installation, and for others it's just the installation. But today there is not a reason. There's not a reason to sit in a home where heating and air conditioning is leaking into the attic at the rate of 30 or 40 or 50, and we have seen homes where they, they put the equipment in to do a pressure test on ducts, 
and cannot get a reading. <laughs> Think about that. That's 80% of the cooling going into the attic. Here's why it's important. The average 25 to 30-year-old home in this town needs six to eight inches of insulation. And we looked at 200 homes, and I talked about ducts. The average leakage was 30%. 30 percent of heating and cooling dripping into the attic. But we saw plenty of 40, 50, 60 percent leakage type homes. It's, it's really, the other day a television station called us up and said, can you, can you find a customer that kind of did it all? An older home where they replaced the air conditioner because a 25 or 30 year old air conditioner uses almost twice as much electricity as today's new models, and we said, sure, let's, let's look around. We called around, we found a person, and we just, just called a few of the customers that had done all of the improvements. And so we go out to the house, and I get there early, and I'm talking to her, and I said, you know, you did, you put in a new air conditioner, you had your ducts replaced, you put in additional attic insulation, you put on solar screens, you did the weather stripping around the doors, the plumbing that comes out of the wall under the, under the sinks, you, you caulked around it. I'm really curious, you did a good job. How much, what has the difference been? She said, it cut my summer electric bill by more than 50%. She was in the 220 or $30 a month, dollar a month range, and it went down to 120. That is a story that we hear over and over. And you know what she said? She said, you know, I really didn't have enough money to pay for this. I think she said it cost $7,000 or so. She said, but I got your low interest loan. And that's a loan program through uh, one of the credit unions here in town. It's 0% for five years. If you need a little time, it's 2.9 for seven years. And she said, you know, I couldn't believe it. I'm paying that loan off with what I'm saving on my power bill. That is absolutely a true statement. It is not something that seldom occurs. It occurs frequently. I want to tell you just real quick how the program works, because you're in a house right now. You call just about any heating and air conditioning company in town, they do all of the work for us. And they come out and take a look. The inspection takes 30, 40 minutes. They'll come back in the room and say, Mr. Clark, we looked at everything. This is what you need to do on insulation. This is what we see you need to do on your ducts, et cetera. And they give you a list and they give you a price. You can use them or you can call somebody else. But if you do use them and you're going to use our rebates, we send one of our technicians out and they look at the list just a little quality assurance. It doesn't suggest these companies aren't honest and don't do a good job, but we have 80 of them. So we come out and look at the list. Then when the improvements have been made, we come back out. That's a great program. You have quality assurance. And the other thing is this, when the companies know that we're gonna be there on the front end, we're gonna be there on the back end, the result is in this town is that the companies do a good job. So it's a good value. All right, we're going to go to some easy things to do, and I'm going to move a little fast. You're in a home now. What can I do this free? Live like a vampire is what I say to everyone. <laughs> and here's the whole deal on summer. The whole deal on the summer is you're trying to reduce heat in the home. So you keep the blinds closed if that window has sunlight that can come in. And turn off all the lights. You don't really need them probably, and that's going to make a difference, 10% perhaps in your bill. Turn off the computers, turn off the TVs, and put things on power strips. You know, that, that power that's being used, you just look at the microwave, and it's got that cute little clock, and you know, that sort of thing. You can, I'm going to tell you, I lived in an apartment uh, you know, a year or two ago, and I decided, I, I kind of decided, you know, I, I'm going to see what you can achieve. You know, I'm, I'm single, who cares, you know? So, I mean, I went, I went so far as I'd turn the breaker off because it was an electric hot water heater. And I unplugged the microwave. And I had a power strip on my TV and all that stuff at the front of the room, and I turned it completely off when I left home. I turned off my air conditioner. And I'm going to tell you something. I was shocked, and I've been working at Austin Energy for 10 years. I dropped my bill, which was not that large, it was in the $70 a month range, this apartment, went down to 30 bucks, 30 bucks a month. I thought, my gosh, that's being kind of neurotic. We had, <laughs> we had a, we did a, a contest with the Austin Chronicle, and we challenged people to see what you could reduce your power usage this summer, for instance, versus last. And we, we tracked it. People sent in their applications. And, of course, we could look at their accounts. 
So when we saw the winners, it was my staff's job to call those that were at the very top to make sure they were in town and, you know, there wasn't something going on. The people that won had decreased their energy usage generally by 40 or 50 percent, really just by paying attention. Now, I will admit that there were a few strange people that completely stopped using air conditioning because they thought they'd get to be in the newspaper. That was a little extreme. And in fact, the guy that won, I called him up and I said, you know, let's just say his name is Henry. I said, Henry, I'm looking at your usage last summer. And let's just say but you average 1,200 kWh, and I'm looking at this summer, and it's 500. How did you do that, Henry? And he said, well, I got a divorce. <laughs> and he said, and then I stopped using air conditioning. Don't try that. I'm just. Change all your bulbs out to CFLs. Why? Sure, they, they, they use 70% less energy, and they last 10 times longer, but it goes back to heat. Now, when you're in your kitchen, you're in the living room, you're in a room, turn the lights on, especially with temperatures we're having like now. And if you stand there for a few minutes, you will notice the difference. The standard light bulb gives off 90% heat and 10% light. The CFLs are the opposite. They give off 90% light and 10% heat, but light bulbs make a big difference. If you keep them turned off all summer long, you're going to reduce your energy bill probably by five, six, seven percent. You know, we did some little commercials and the mayor said this, and it's true because we figured it out. If everybody in town, all 330,000 residential customers, turned off a couple of lights on a summer afternoon, that would save enough power for about 3,000 homes. That's very illustrative, but the main thing, once again, is you are reducing heat in the home that reduces, of course, the air conditioning time. The other thing you need to do is to join our free thermostat program. There's not a reason why every single residential customer in this town is not a member. We have 85,000 folks that are in this program. What we do is we install, through a contractor, a state-of-the-art programmable thermostat. That's free. Installation is free. Maintenance is free as long as you're in our program. Then what we do on very hot days is that we coordinate for a short period of time during the peak of the afternoon, 3.30 to 6 o'clock, we coordinate the cycling of 40, 50,000 air conditioners, and it allows us to hold down the peak demand, the most electricity that this town pulls from our system at any given moment. The program saves us money. It's going to help you because as the peak grows and as it when it gets big enough, that's when you have to add the next power plant. You know, the energy efficiency programs in this town since 1982 have offset the need for a 600 megawatt power plant, and that's with auditing. That's not just figuring out the formula and, you know, you're doing best scenario. Now we're on a pathway to eliminate the need for a 700 megawatt power plant, and what that means is we won't be putting six or seven or eight hundred million dollars into our budget that you have to pay for on your bill. So this program is one of those things that helps us manage that peak demand because if you stay below a certain level, we have the generation to take care of it. Try it out. You call a 1-800 number. You go to austinenergy.com, call a 1-800 number, say, I'd like to participate in this program. They come out. They look at your system to make sure they don't see a fatal flaw because they don't want to put in a thermostat if you have a difficulty. And then the next week you would say, well, the thermostat caused the problem. You understand that. And it's very simple. It's very worthwhile. Okay, um, and that's how it works. Basically, the thought I'll leave you with is this. If you have an older home and it's never been looked at, you're wasting about a third of the electricity you're using. And on a summer day, when the temperature reaches 104, 105 degrees, even when you set that thermostat at 80 degrees, your air conditioner is going to run about eight hours a day. So energy efficiency makes a huge difference. We had 50, 100 degree Days last summer, we'll see what this one looks like. You're just throwing money away if you don't take advantage of the best energy efficiency program probably in the nation.